Friday, dear viewers. Today I'm going to show you how to multiply big numbers in a very easy way, which is called exponents. For, for example, that we have two big numbers, 500 times 600. In the scientific way and in the good way, we will write 5 times 10 to the power 2 times 6 times 10 to the power 2. But in order, after we do that, we will ask ourselves, now what? After we write this equation, what else to do? And to know that, we have to know some rules of the exponent. So today I'm going to show you that. Okay, so first let's get started with the rules. There are many rules of exponents, but today I'm going, but first of all, I'm going to show you the most amazing one, which is the zero rule. You might ask, what is the zero rule? The zero rule is that, for example, let's say we have 2 divided by 2. Then, everybody knows that's equals to 1. But if we go a little deeper, then we all know that there's a 1. There's an exponent 1 right here, and also exponent 1 right here. Which actually means that 2 to the power 1 divided by 2 to the power 1. And when we do this, then we have to keep the base same, and we have to subtract the exponents. 1 minus 1. And everybody knows that is equals to 1. So, if we do if we like do the subtraction 2 to the power 0 then it, then everybody knows according to this now that 2 to the power 0 is actually equals to 1 i'm going to prove to you in the algebraic way for example we have x to the power 0 see it always have to be equal to 1 okay so that is the zero rule now i'm going to show you another rule and that rule is the multiplication or the product rule. And that rule is that, let's say for example, we have 2 to the power 2 times 2 to the power 3. Then, what we will do there is that we will keep the base same, and then we will add these two exponents, which is actually 2, two plus 3. And then that is going to to be 5. So, it's 2 to the power 5. And I'm also going to prove to you that this is also true as that because normally this would have been uh, 2 to the power 2 would have been 4 and 2 to the power 3 would have been 8, which is also, which is equals to 32. And when we do this, this is also going to be equals to 32. So this is the proof of the multiplication and the, or the product rule. Now, there's another rule. In fact, there are multiples of rules, but I'll only show you two. The next one is the uh, quotient rule. The quotient rule is that, for example, uh, we have uh, 2 to the power, let me work with those figures again, 2 to the power 2, except this time the multiplication, oh, sorry, 2 to the power uh, 3, except this time the multiplication will only be... Um, division. And then there will be 2 to the power, okay, let's change this into a 5, for example, and then 2 to the power, for example, here is 2. Okay? So this would be uh, uh, an equation, but we could also write it as that um, here we, we would leave the base the same, and we would subtract the exponents here. Remember in the multiplication or the product rule, we added the two exponents, but here it's different. We have to subtract the two exponents. When we do that, that's gonna be two to the power three. And just like the proof that I showed you for the multiplication and the or the product rule, that's, the, that's going to be the same proof for this. So, and the algebraic way would also be the same way as this. So this is the division one. There is also another one, which is the one rule. The one rule is basically that, let's say we have 2 to the power 1. What would actually that mean? That would actually mean 2. Because here that's only that we have to multiply 2 by itself only one time. So if we do that, that's 2. And then multiply by nothing else, which would actually make 2, right? So that is the one uh, rule. Then there's a one and final last rule. That rule is the power rule. The power rule is basically that, for example, we have three to the power two whole multiple, uh, 
to the whole to the power four. Okay, and here we could do three to the power, we can multiply these two, which is eight, three times the power eight. That's the simpler way. That's the, that's the, uh, that's the, the, another way. So these are the five and final rules of the exponent. So with this, you can figure out very big multiplications of very big numbers. And I hope this comes useful to you. Assalamu alaikum.